to attempt to do here is to uh, show the process of, uh, of uh, bringing those photos in uh, from your Rico camera, which you've already done. You've brought those in to a folder. And in my situation, uh, we've got the uh, pictures here in a folder that I brought in from the camera. And these do have some GPS data in it, so I've highlighted them. And I'm just going to say copy. And then uh, you can, can always see where your uh, data is located, your database. And the one I've got open here is in our uh, training test data. Okay, so I'll go there. my my database just paste those pictures in there you don't have to do that but it's just uh, simpler for me if I know that's uh, that's where my photos live uh, so you can close out of that and then up here is your your bar uh, that uh, the toolbar there for photo link and as you can see you've, you've got three different buttons you click on uh, right here to process the photos and it says you always want to make sure that it says it found the four photos uh, and again if, if yours isn't looking there you would just navigate by clicking the browse and uh, go down the tree until you're until you're in that folder because that's where my photos are and uh, and then some other settings I've, I've uh, got my datum so that they will line up. Uh, this background image is in state plane, NAT 83, and you would just set that in here. Okay. And uh, my layer options, I've, I've got the compass selected, uh, the memo, because uh, I've got a memo set up, uh, and pretty much uh, nothing special there. And then you click this uh, create and load layer. You'll notice this will be grayed out if it didn't find any photos up here. So that's one thing you have to, to do. And as I was saying, it uh, after you run it, it, it removes those photos from this particular directory. Okay. So you say create and load layer. And this, I think, is your is your question, how you how you link them to that database. And uh, so you go right there to see it, it's in the same directory so if, if you had to hunt, hunt it down uh, I had it in ArcPad training test data and there's my my database that matches over here okay so you say open and as you can see it's it's doing the linking and since I've done this before uh, it asked me that it yours will not and uh, my output options were as follows. And as you can see, uh, it put the two little icons up here, and you can change your symbology over here, of course. Uh, but then you'd go up here and click on uh, View Picture, and it changes the, the icon. And it doesn't do as I said. It, it doesn't hover. It doesn't do that. So if you, you click on it, it should pop up a picture here if my recording software isn't slowing us down too much. So there's the picture. Okay, and then you go over here and do the same thing on this one. And yours will be faster. Uh, my recording software is slowing it down. In fact, I don't think it's going to draw that one. But that's all you all you do is you just click on that, and it and it pops it up. I hope that's answered your question. I know that's kind of basic, um, but that's that's how I've uh, been able to get mine to, to work and, and show the information. If you have any other questions, just uh, just give me a call.